The year is 2012. Up-and-coming star Saul Canelo Alvarez is on a pathway to destruction in the light middleweight division. After winning the WBC title convincingly against the competent but far from beloved Matthew Hatton, he decides it's time to have some title defenses on the resume. I really do think I've shared the ring there with a great fighter. After know? achieving victories against middling talents such as the knockout artist Kermit Cintron and old-timer Ryan Rhodes, he feels it's time to establish dominance against a former legend of the ring Sugar Shane Mosley. But can the Mexican Marauder steal another win for the record, or will the sugar of Shane be too sweet for Canelo's spice? Viva Mexico, Welcome back to Boxing After Dark, where today we're going to be looking at a moment in time of boxing which ushered in one generation and let go of another. Whilst Canelo was somewhat of a spring chicken and Shane Mosley was near two decades past his best self, it was still a spectacle for the boxing world, and many were excited to tune in. How do you beat Canelo Alvarez? You know, just by being me, by being Sugar Shane Mosley. You know, um, I got speed power, and, you know, for this training camp, I worked very hard. I'm ready to go. Canelo was a clear favorite going into the fight with a 6-1 to one odds of winning. But despite this, as taught time and time again, you can never count a man out until the winner is officially declared. And Shane Mosley was never a pushover, no matter where he was in his career or who his opponent was. Shane was in a tough spot during this turbulent era, despite having proven himself over the course of many fights, such as his two wins over the legendary Oscar De La Hoya and his back-to-back -back successes over the solid contender Fernando Vargas. In recent years, his speed, power, and overall package had been decreasing in quality, despite still having success against the genuinely talented Antonio Margarito, who infamously cheated putting plaster in his gloves in an attempt to destroy Shane's marvelous chin. Of course, I, you know, what, what do you think of us? Stop it. You know, like, oh, coach, put my, my hand rough in my hands. Oh, I'm going to close my eyes. Oh. Canelo, on the other hand, despite having what many regarded as a padded out record with roughly 30 of his 40 wins being against unknown opponents, had been stepping up dramatically in terms of difficulty in his recent fights, having some impressive victories over two-time super welterweight champion Ryan Rhodes, as well as the fan favorite contestant from boxing reality show, the contender Alfonso Gomez. He's a fantastic, he's a superstar, like I said. Take nothing away from this young kid, he's 20 years old, but he's going places. Things ramped up more and more every fight for Canelo, with as clean a record as he had, he could have gone the easy way, fighting lesser opponents for the rest of his career if he so desired. But there was a dog in him, and he truly believed himself to be the best. The fight came on the 5th of May in 2012. The hype had never been higher for the 21-year-old Saul Alvarez, and the fans of Shane Mosley eagerly anticipated a return to form after his humiliating loss to Floyd Mayweather Jr., which despite almost knocking down Mayweather in the fight early on, was outboxed for the vast majority of the bout. Tonight's fight was being held in Las Vegas, Nevada, and whilst it was already hot at this time of year, things were only going to heat up more over the course of the night. They lose Hayden for Canelo Alvarez against Shane Mosley, and of course, it jumps right out at you from the beginning. The 19-year age advantage. It's the fourth biggest age gap we could find in the record books ever in a fight for a title bill. Shane Mosley's last three performances were highly questionable. He's coming off a 363-day layoff. But if Shane is on tonight, if he has a lot of what he used to have, then this could be a heck of a show, and we'll be sitting back and allowing you to admire the work. No need to talk a lot if these guys do what we think they might be able to do. The classic tactical first half minute as they get a look at each other and start to feel each other out. Canelo has fans, fast hands when he lets go. Body shot by Canelo. Now Shane comes back to the body himself. First left hook for Canelo. Punches his hook. And I don't think he... Alvarez only threw 26 punches. Landed 11. Several of them were body shots. And well, they go to round two. Moses seems to be... Very much in a good, comfortable mode right now. Seems satisfied with the lead in the fight and looking for opportunity. He wonders if he can have too much respect this version of. There's the jab, and he landed it flush on Mosley's face. And there's the left hook to the body, followed by the left hook upstairs. Oh, finally, Canelo is beginning to put a physical imprint on the fight. Intensity, which has made him a star in Mexico. The top every time he punches. Oh, comfortable in the ring. Yeah, 
Round two opens up, and as the crowd livens up, so does the fight. Canelo, whilst looking somewhat robotic through the first round and the beginning of the second, begins to land some decent power punches. And we bring you back to live action in the ring. Canelo Alvarez against Shane Mosley. And uh, in the second round, Canelo Alvarez began to step it up. His copy box numbers found him landing 27 out of 51 punches, 14 of them in the last minute, many of them savage body shots. That's the heart of his game, as we told you, against Canelo Alvarez. Alvarez alternately laying back and then sometimes stepping forward and landing hard shots like that right hand on the face of Mosley. Body shots are he's Shane Mosley. Canelo may be very special. Does that affect judges' yeah. interview? It, it, it just... To me. We have a, a headbutt! And we have a headbutt. Shane is unmarked, and clearly it is Canelo who's dripping blood. I wonder how, how they ruled that cut, whether it was from an accidentally butt heads or whether it's from a blow. Why would they have stopped and taken a cut man in Canelo's corner is Jose Reynoso. He'll clearly be going to work between rounds. As round three approaches, it seems things begin to forebode a sour fight for Mosley. But after an accidental headbutt leads to a cut on the left eye of Canelo Alvarez, Sugar Shane finds himself with some much needed hope for a victory in the fight. Harold, how do you have it through three? Look at him. I got it two rounds to one. 29 28, Canelo Alvarez. Not that right hand that I have decision. Our Andre Ward rounds, and I really like that, but you know, Canelo Alvarez has taken over. When he fights, he fans. Uh, I, I mean, how big a fan for you? you know, at some point, fighters are going to get old and. You know, right now, the younger fighter's taking control of this fight. Stick to Andre, does Canelo fight? Well, we see the high guard, he's not taking any. Alvarez is absolutely yeah. champion right now. He looks like a guy who has 40 fights. Hey, man. Yeah, but Vladimir Klitschko. Because he's landing more than half of his punches. And that's my take. Then he is, he's throwing more because judges have shown that they'll respond to activity. But when Canelo lands, he's knocking Shane's head back. Yeah. Canelo landed low, and referee Jake. Best round to me because he's been busy. His body of punches has picked up this round. For you, Andre, where does the big punches right now? Because he's getting hit with some big shots, but he's walking through. Style. You're brilliant. Ah, ah. I just don't like to lose, Jim. <laughs> After a stronger round from Shane in the fifth round of the fight, many hoped the fight's momentum would continue to build. But the sixth round began to show his age. Every time he gets hit. Power shots in round five, and this is very forbidding for Mosley. Alvarez landed by CompuBox count, 26 out of 37 power punches in that round. That's 70 percent. But was it dominant? Still has to fight. Put your, put your head. Let's fight in particular because we just recently made a deal for oh. Brundage fight, and Brundage wins is to fight Canelo Alvarez probably this fall. Continues to grow and develop, and if he wins this race, is also exciting fighters. I said, because I don't know, he wanted a few fighters that punches with full authority. And if he would be busier than this, there is the chance to tee off. Spikes against good opponent, half his power shots. And okay, Jim, I'll get a five rounds to one. 59-55 Canelo Alvarez. Jim, to me, Shane Mosley's face is getting all swollen up by these power punches. I mean, Canelo just keeps teeing off on him, landing the real hard shots, doing more damage. I gotta tell you, Jim, for a 21-year-old kid, Canelo Alvarez has terrific, uh, terrific skills. Andre Ward said it very well. He has a sophistic chain out. He may have some problems. So no whiz close the show sensationally. You're in the dressing room interview with Shane with a question about Oh, he's landing bombs. Yeah, he, Shane is getting, he's been beaten, and he's been in fights, high contact fights, but he's getting hit with some serious stuff here. Very seldom we ever seen fight. Whilst many expected him to have been knocked out by the halfway point of the fight by Canelo, Mosley's chin and heart were on full display. At the age of 40, he's consistently eating missiles from the Mexican prodigy. And for that alone, he's earned the respect of the crowd. Round seven comes around, and whilst things were up in the air for the first half of the fight, Canelo begins to dominate the second half. You heard Nassim Richardson head, saying head. that was your best round because you pushed him back. Mosley's coming forward and being aggressive again. Break a get tired, he's going to have a problem with Shane. Well, we're a minute into the eighth round, and it appears that if Canelo is going to take a round off or try to get rest, this is the one. One of the two knocks against him. To sleep, and after another, boom, boom. That body shot knocked Mosley back five feet. Buddy, 
shots. Never been knocked out. Turns Canelo's head with a right hand. Yeah, it's a difference from the way that. And when the op. Your head. Alvarez. Ripping Mosley to the head over and over. Mosley's legs have held up better than we've seen him in some recent fights. Just took two vicious body shots and a third one. And he's backing away now. Canelo hurt him with the body shots. Years ago. Now Mosley gets in a right hand. Look at the commitment to those body punches. This is fierce. Very big puncher for 154 pounds. Time! Harold, how do you have it through nine? Look at you, I got an 89, 82, eight rounds to one Canelo Alvarez. I agree with Larry just, I'm having a hard time watching this fight. I mean, Shane Mosley, a great old veteran, taking a terrible beating by a young kid who's just strong, powerful, and every time he lands a shot, you can almost see the pain in Mosley's Stop. face. That's he's not, he's not punches. Really, the jab is really not a jab. I never thought he would. Encourages Mosley to keep going, although. Our right hand knocks Mosley back. In this sport, everybody is a bounty hunter. In round 10, Mosley's face continues getting worked on as it begins to puff and swell. Canelo proves that the age difference is vital. Shane still throws and attempts to break down Saul's strong defense. And had Sugar Shane been 20 years younger, the same age as Canelo, perhaps these punches would be leading to a different story. But alas, Canelo overpowers Mosley and finds himself winning yet another round. Big left hook. Shane Mosley won't quit and is determined to finish the fight. So we're getting too bad and so No, far. no, you can't stop this fight. I mean, he's still, he's getting hit with good shots, but never has he been staggered and hurt and, you know, in a amount of just, he's getting hit with clean punches that have his head snaring back, but that's shame, punches back. Didn't bother Canelo in even the slightest degree. Here's that Mosley will be headed for a throw, as you pointed out earlier, Larry is getting a huge paycheck. So that Floyd giving Floyd. You know, <laughs> American fans that Mayweather or lose, he attracts them. Mosley's dutifully trying to work to the body. Canelo is blocking most of the shots with his arms and taking advantage of the opportunity to come upstairs and hit Shane flush. Stop, stop. No They've around. got 11. <laughs> Much of the crowd rising now, standing ovation. Okay, last round, last round, oh, come on. Some of the cheers for the mastery of Canelo here tonight. Some Stop. of the cheers for Shane Mosley's great career. We always knew he was a good puncher. But the thing is, I've always said, his biggest weakness is he fights in spots. The Shane Mosley's, uh, Shane lasted three more years as a professional now than was the case for Oscar. He made a lot more money. Let's remember that. But there were two for the gold medal in 92. If Shane had made it just as big a favorite to win gold, and working with them for him at Golden Bowl. Standing up all around this arena, a great tribute to a once great fighter. You have to give Shane Mosley credit for fighting a very courageous fight. He tried. He's all the way down the wire to the last few seconds. He's still fighting. Way more than he gave in what his performance what? against Manny Pacquiao. And Floyd Mayweather. And he showed his courage tonight. Canelo showed his thunder. 12 rounds of championship boxing. We go to the scorecards here at the MGM Grand by unanimous decision. Still undefeated and still WBC super welterweight champion of the world, Saul Canelo. Canelo has retained his WBC light middleweight title. After the fight, Mosley was more than respectful, recalling Canelo's very impressive body punches, and was surprised at how well he maneuvered the ring and kept himself in a safe and advantageous position through the majority of the fight. How far can he go? 
Oh, I think he'd go a long ways. I mean, he's only 21 years old, and um, he's doing very well. I mean, he showed great, great composure in there. And, um, you know, uh, his body chops were good. His, his punches were good and sharp and crisp. Uh, he can go a long ways. Canelo, meanwhile, in the post fight, using his translator, returned the compliments, thanking Mosley for this great opportunity in his career and admits Mosley being tougher than expected. It's a great experience. This is the beginning of my career. Thank you for Mosley to giving me, for giving me his experience. He then goes on to call out Pacquiao, Mayweather, and Cotto, one of which the fight would sadly never materialize, another he'd find to be his first great victory, and the last would find his first of two defeats. And whilst many come to different conclusions on whether Canelo is all he's cracked up to be since this monumental occasion in his career, there's no doubt many will tune in to see his next fight with a British brute by the name of John Ryder. Is Canelo's time at the top coming to an end after an inconsistent last two fights? Or will this be the beginning of a new era of Saul Alvarez? If you've enjoyed this video and would like to see more from Boxing After Dark, feel free to subscribe to the channel and don't be afraid to drop a like and comment. Thank you for watching.